Disney uses the same logo intro they used for Toy Story, giving me a nostalgia boner for a much better movie. The movie takes place on an island on what appears to be a dried up riverbed, which makes me wonder where the river is. Is there a drought? If so, why is the surrounding foliage still so green? And why didn't Pixar just make this an island on an actual f***ing river? The late 90s was a weird era when there were basically two different movies for every story. Dante's Peak and Volcano, The Truman Show and Ed TV, Without Limits and Prefontaine. I mean, two f***ing movies about Steve Prefontaine? Well, here's A Bug's Life, not Ants. Based on what I saw a few seconds ago, there's plenty of grain. The climber ant could have avoided the berries altogether, and they are logistically much harder to carry. All in all, this seems like a dick move. A ants, of course, are an absolute nightmare. There's a reason this story takes place outdoors. If it was set in house, the viewer would definitely want all of them dead. Take that, baby Hayden Penetier. Instead of just piling up the offering on the ground in front of the ant hill, the ants decide to precariously stack the grains onto a leaf held up by one large rock that's held up by nine small rocks right next to a cliff. I'm lost! A real ant would not get lost in this situation. Ants use pheromones to make their paths, so this guy should just be able to walk around the sleeve to get back on track with no hesitation. Are those freckles? Liver spots? A weird infection? This is nothing compared to the twig of 93. Island ants somehow measure time by human scales and know a special time known as 1993. Also, are all the minor obstructions revered as natural disasters, even though they only take a few seconds to overcome? What is it that makes this ant so much smarter than all the other ants carrying grain and berries and the ant colony seems to have some sort of educational inequality problem that can in no way be tied to socioeconomics or racial inequality because they are f***ing ants. She's got enough on her plate already. Training her daughter. Oh yes, Princess Ada, the poor dear. Aggressive expositional emphasis. Your Highness, I can't count when you hover like that. Oh. The princess could have easily stood behind him without hovering at all. <laughs> ants and aphids actually do have a mutual relationship, and even though that is a delightfully accurate part of this movie, the ants should treat the aphids more like colleagues and less like pets. God, what did I tell you about trying to fly? Not until my wings grow in. I'm impressed her wings were able to lift her off the ground at all. These ants are so iridescent, they look like drugstore eyeshadow. Flick's machine is powered by movie magic. This is my new idea for harvesting grain. Flick's invention bypassed thousands of years of harvesting innovation and jumped right to the Industrial Revolution. He's basically a witch. A telescope! A spherical drop of dew couldn't telescope sh if you don't believe me, just look through a clear marble. I'm beginning to think nothing I do works. No, your inventions all work. It's just that no one gives a sh I need a seat. Uh... Flick doesn't say, hey, Dot, can you grab a seed out of my machine's blade of grass? Okay, everyone, single file, food to the offering stone. These ants didn't just do this to begin with. Instead, they resorted to chaos and ran around like a bunch of dumb humans. These ants have discovered the illuminating power of fluorescent mushrooms that definitely exist. Bull contraption somehow has the strength to knock out a rock weighted down by two heavier rocks. Since this was so easy to knock down, it's amazing that this poorly constructed pedestal stayed up as long as it did. There must be a wormhole in this puddle, because the grain seems to vanish as soon as it enters the puddle. I can see the bottom of the puddle, but I can't see any of the grain. Also, whose genius idea was it to put the offering stone next to a cliff? It's convenient for the grasshoppers that the ant's large gathering room isn't any deeper into the earth. One of those circle of life kind of things. A little Disney cross-promotion for you. The birds eat the grasshoppers. Hey, like the one that nearly ate you, you remember? Bumbling idiot bad guy lackey saying things at inappropriate times that are expositional, ultimately helpful to the audience cliche. There's still a few months till the rains come. Yeah, there's still a few months until the rains come. The ants will still be able to collect more food for the grasshoppers, who will be dead by then because of their two-month life cycle as an adult. Also, are they saying this happens every year? They are the oldest living grasshoppers ever. We'll be back at the end of the season. When the last leaf falls. We'll just be sitting around for months, waiting for that last leaf to fall, which will be hard to verify, but f sounds great. I'm starting to think this movie is some kind of bizarre retelling of Aesop's The Ant and the Grasshopper fable, but the only thing the stories have in common is they both involve ants and grasshoppers. Nobody asked you, your royal shortness! Yeah. The proles are a little too comfortable sassing off to the monarchy. A violent revolution overthrowing the royal family is definitely on the way. Oh. Yeah, but you're an ant, right? You have those wicked claws where you can climb up and down everything without a problem. And the f do you need a giant backpack anyway? The contents of your pack are literally all around you. This scene is brought to you by Cartoon Physics. Cartoon Physics. Bending the lines of reality to conveniently serve the movie's plot. Bye! Apparently Flick has much greater mass than I am accustomed to ants having. Your dad's right. He's gonna die. Yeah, but wasn't it your dad that said he was gonna die? My dad doesn't think that. He doesn't, huh? Nah, he's betting you're gonna die. I have been in outhouses that didn't stink that bad. Don't flies like stinky things? If the show really did stink, they should have enjoyed it. You always cast me as the broom, the pole, the stick. That's racist. You parasite. That's racist. Oh, it's a flea? Fleas. 
Hey, cutie! Want a pollinate with a real bug? This is one of those moments that I didn't realize I should be disgusted by until I became an adult. So, being a ladybug automatically makes me a girl! Is that it, flyboy? It's also amazing that the insect kingdom even uses the word ladybug. But hey, funny joke, yo. If Francis is so bothered with the other bugs thinking he looks like a girl, he could at least try and look a little less like Betty Boop. This movie was way ahead of the curve on minions. What if they were all blindfolded? It seems like this is the only thing they actually had planned. PT survives this. I wonder what came first, the circus or the red and white umbrella and the animal cookie box? I guess it's technically still an Easter egg, even if they just tilt up and show it to you. It's so beautiful! Movie pretends like bugs don't really die when they're set on fire or get electrocuted. So why are we worried about Hopper again? Is anyone gonna help the fireflies in PJ's bottle? They're clearly stuck. This poor bastard has to do this for hours, maybe even days, maybe his whole life. Who wanted the poo poo platter? Poo poo platter. Hi, I said no salt! This slug missed the giant pieces of salt on top of his food. Now he's going to die. Fired by a flea. How humiliating. To be fair, you were employed by a flea, so it's hard for me to believe you didn't see this as a possibility. This cannot be the first time this bar has come loose and rolled away. I'm sure this establishment has seen plenty of fights that could cause the same result, given that it seems pretty seedy. Just to make sure I understand, are they standing on a pile of dead bodies right now? <gasps> a talent scout. Hilarious misunderstanding cliche. They're putting the food right next to the fucking cliff again? Did they not learn anything from the last time? Also, this tells me that the ants are still propping up their offering rock pile with that tiny rock that was the cause of the problem earlier. He's our resident thespian. Last year, he played the lead in Picnic. <laughs> Even though I love this pun, if I know anything, kids sure do love obscure Broadway references. Insect Guernica. Also, I realize this is all ridiculous, but even a second string Pixar movie is pretty good. Minus one sin for the genuinely amusing murder mural. Oh, look at the beautiful colors of the blood. Do the bugs have red human blood in their universe? Pixar had some trouble finding the anthropomorphism line with this movie. We are the grasshoppers! Where's our food? We are the warriors! Here to defend you! Holy sh! I just realized this movie is the Three Amigos. Jesus, what are these ants teaching their kid ants? After this and the mural from before, I feel like these ant kids have been watching nothing but Quentin Tarantino. Cool to have the warriors. That rolled up blade of grass just had a feedback issue. Also, with this kind of technology, they could have built a bomb out of twigs and the urine from a horse fly. Circus, us uh, circumventing. They can trap his trap them with ease. Well, Guy caught in a lie that almost reveals his lie with puns cliche. Come on, Wing. Is what America said after hearing the silly love songs. Fuck me, he's cutting off the circulation to my foot. Yeah. Circulation might be a strong word. <laughs> Hungry Bird Ex Machina. Nobody really believes I can do this job. I thought all ant queens had to do was reproduce, which to me sounds like a pretty sweet gig. How would you like to be the queen's official aide to the warrior bug? That seems like a given, since he found them. Discount Batman. The ants are able to find twigs that are the perfect bird torso shape. <laughs> These twigs must have fallen off of a rubber tree, otherwise they would have snapped by now. Ruben Kincaid! Did he just say Ruben Kincaid, the manager on the Partridge family? Between this and that super topical picnic shout out, I can't imagine why this film isn't more beloved by 90s kids. They still have to gather food for the winter, right? This caterpillar is destroying their rations. Also, congratulations to Augustus Gloop for changing the pop culture stereotype of Germans from murderers into gluttons. It's less horrifying by several degrees of deadly sins. Whoa! Look, I'm a beautiful butterfly! I was about to let them get away with the ant literally windsurfing on a leaf, but that compounded with Heimlich using leaves to float down when we all know he would drop like a hot rock is just too much to overlook. These grasshoppers are drunk on grain. You know, I'm sure this is supposed to be evil on some level, but f mosquitoes. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. Does Hopper not know there are hundreds of thousands of other ant colonies he can terrorize? Who cares if they rise up? The grasshoppers can literally just go anywhere else. Why doesn't the Black Widow and the circus gang eat any of the ants? She's already trapping them in webs. Eating them is the next logical step for spiders. Oh, I feel 70 again! Jeez, how long do these ants live? If he's 70, then the queen has to be like 400 years old, right? Uh, oops, oh, 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 I'll get it. This is like second base for ants. Jiminy H. Cricket! Taking Jiminy Cricket's name in vain. <laughs> um, don't you have to fly to get here? At the very least, they had to haul this two-car animal cracker wagon down a steep hill and up another one, right? How the f*** did he drive this thing through that huge ravine? Meanwhile, in the f***ing ravine, PT couldn't have possibly navigated safely down into and get back out of. Paradoxes duke it out with catch-22s and a no-holds-barred battle holding bars. How far does Hopper and his gang have to go before they're back at this particular ant colony? This really seems like more trouble than it's worth. The first time Hopper and his gang showed up, they all hid in the ant hill. But this time they just stand around. 
I guess they don't want to have to fix the roof again. Didn't you hear, Hopper? He's gonna squish the queen to remind him who's <gasps> boss. Grasshopper 1 reminds Grasshopper 2 of this, conveniently within earshot of Doc. <laughs> this creature has been on a leash all the other times we've seen him in this movie, excluding this moment. I guess that's because we needed one additional moment of tension with Doc. Well, what do you know? Dot can fly at the last second just before she fell to her death. Who knew that was coming? Hopper moved into the anthill, and his gang's eating everything. Oh, but oh. I heard a grasshopper say that when they're finished, Hopper's gonna squish my mom. Shouldn't you lead with the mom squishing? We gotta do something. How? Come on, you guys, think. Ooh, I know the bird. Yeah, our original plan. How can she lift anything? She's basically Marcel the Shell. Pretend it's a seed, okay? That worked. Must be an ant thing. No, it's just a dumb thing. I know Flick doesn't have much of a choice at this point, but he seems confident that this team of second graders will be able to fly this bird. We're going to isolate the music here. Edges team. Does anyone else hear them playing the music from the opening sequence from Aladdin during this bit? Edges team. This is like the third reference to another Disney movie we've seen. How much synergy do they need? Where is she? I'm sorry, a magician never reveals his secrets. The circus bugs seem to expect Hopper to just accept that the queen is gone. The fake bird flies in front of the moon, revealing that it's fake. Yet none of the grasshoppers look up in enough time to see that this bird is made of leaves, twigs, and is being suspended by a threat. Yeah, no. Whose idea was this? Who cares? You're killing everybody anyway, right? Flick is all bruised up because, you know, ants bruise, right? I hate it when someone gives away the ending. He gets eaten by birds, the ants use Flick's inventions and live happily ever after. Ants are not meant to serve grasshoppers. He's right, but no one even questioned that until this movie was made. Ants don't serve grasshoppers. It's you who need us. Actually, no. They can apparently live it up in Mexico, according to this movie. The only reason they're here right now is that Hopper wants to teach them a lesson. So this proclamation has lost some of its power in light of the new evidence. Where are you going? Ah! They're just ants. Yeah, but 30 minutes ago, you were warning against this very thing. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Hopper forgot how to fly, apparently. You, as ants, should have been able to detect that long before visual proof was necessary. I'll get more grasshoppers and be back next season. Because I was apparently created in a lab and possess a tortoise gene of some sort that keeps me alive for years and years. Oh, hello, bird ex machina. Coming in twice now, I see. Say hi to the eagles for me, will you? Isn't it customary for the mother bird to chew up the food before giving it to her baby birds? This technique here promises to shove this big grasshopper down the middle chick's beak, leaving the other two hungry and this one in need of surgery. Imagine some Russians playing with Hitler's index finger like a toy shortly after the end of World War II. That's basically what's going on here. They didn't do this shit before, and this may explain how they navigated that ravine, but it doesn't explain why they were driving on the ground in the middle of it, if Tim could do this all along. And besides, he can't. F that noise. Well, this seems like yet another colossal waste of food. You didn't know. You didn't know. You didn't hear me when I said very important this morning. What good are you? Do you have a brain? Do you want to keep this job? Shut up. Listen. Learn. <laughs> You need to f off and go back to Westworld. But ma'am, you need to f off. But ma'am, I said f off. Three f's, you're out. It is true what many of you have heard. The machines have gathered an army, and as I speak, that army is drawing nearer to our home. Down, look down, don't look in the eye. This is it. This is it, Island. What do they got there? Apes. But they're not so big. We got five minutes, Max. What happens in five minutes? It's no big deal. Just engine failure. Good thing I only need three. Never give up, never surrender. Wherever there is injustice, you will find us. Wherever there is suffering, we'll be there.